it is in your best interest for your own life and for your own health for you to stay at home. More than 40 U.S. states have issued stay-at-home orders. The Centers for Disease Control now says everyone should wear a mask when they go out. As we walk around, people are giving us the thumbs up. They're thanking us for just being here. So in a sense, I see with the mobilizations that are occurring through all the branches of the military, it's giving New Yorkers hope that they're not in this fight alone. I basically started the conversation on Friday. My orders dropped on Saturday night. I pushed them through Saturday morning. I was on a red eye Saturday night that left San Francisco at 12.30 in the morning. I arrived in Philly around 9 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. I was part of the first wave that went to the Javits Center where Mayor de Blasio was there to meet us and then we got dropped off at our hotel. What makes the mission worth it to me is giving hope, not only to the patients, not only to the families, but to the nurses, the doctors, everything that we do for the patient. We don't necessarily get to see the outcome, but we help them get to the point that they can live again. I know the nurses, the doctors, everybody else here that's been working in the hospitals for weeks now, they're getting exhausted. So being able to support the people that are exhausted and lift them up is going to be a great thing to do.